Welcome to a video from thedigitallifestyle.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, reset your Windows 10 machine in case it's not running properly, something's corrupt on it, and uh, you're having problems with Windows, whatever. I'm going to show you how you can do a reset here from Windows to make it um, to effectively clean install it or refresh it. You can also use this if you're passing the machine on to somebody else, say, and you want to make sure all your files are cleaned out of it. You can use uh, you can do that as well. So there's two way or there's two um, tools we have to do this, and they're all built into Windows, and it just depends on what we want to keep on which method or which option we use. So go into settings, and then update and security. And then recovery. And I'm doing this on a virtual machine, um, so I don't um, destroy one of my main computer. I can just use this test machine, test virtual machine. So here's the option to reset your PC. So hit that on there. And there's a couple of questions that it asks you. First of all, the most important one is whether you want to keep your files or remove everything. So if you say keep your files, it removes all the programs you've got installed, but it will leave the files in my documents. So if you've got some pictures, some documents, some music, it will keep those on the machine and um, they're there for, for you to, to do whatever you need to. Um, but it will remove all your installed programs and uh, all that and, and drivers or anything like that. The other option is to remove everything, and that does a complete clean out, and that gets rid of everything, including all your personal files. So if you've got documents in your documents folder, it will wipe those out if you to choose that option. So be careful when you do these. They're both resetting your machine, but one retains your personal files. So I'll do the personal ones. The next step is it's going to decide on how I want to um, reinstall Windows. Do I do a cloud recovery or a local install? So the difference between these two is a cloud recovery means it goes and gets the latest files from Microsoft, downloads them to your machine, and then creates an installation image and installs that. The other option is a local, which means they're files that are held on your system that it actually uses to create the installation image. The actually the difference in time is not very much if you've got a decent bandwidth because uh, the local file it still has to sort of create the installation image so it's not quicker really necessarily quicker using the local version and if you've got corrupt files on your machine it could be that uh, you it might fail with that so it's up to you to choose whichever you prefer um, cloud gets it and you refresh so if you've got a limited bandwidth then do a local if you've got a good bandwidth then I would do the cloud one so I'm going to do the cloud one uh, so I can, I can do next and it's going to do some processing uh, then it's going to shut the machine down and then we'll, we'll have to wait while it does the reinstall and uh, you'll see um, you'll see it processing uh, during that phase so here we go we can this is the last step now uh, once we uh, do this reset it's going to start going you and so you want to make sure you're doing it at this stage that this is what you actually want to do hit reset First thing it's doing is it's downloading the files from Microsoft. It's going to go away and do that for some time now. And then once that's finished, it will then do a restart, and reapply this. And then when that boots back up again, at the end of the process, we'll have a clean machine with the same user ID that we already did because I did keep files and uh, we'll be ready to go so what i'm going to do now is i'll pause the recording of this video and i'll come back when we get later on through the different stages so it's done the um download done a reboot and now it's doing the pc reset so that's obviously going to go up to 100 percent and then we'll be able to log into windows so i'll uh, resume the video when it gets back to that stage okay that's finished now so um i can sign back in And that's going to take me to a freshly installed version of Windows, but it's kept all my files, the user that I've got signed in, uh, my personal files, that is all the files in documents, things like that, but not any of the applications. So it's going to go through this sort of generic, uh, the, so it's going to go through this sort of setup screen now, and then I'll be able to sign back in. So there I've uh, logged back in, and if I go in here, you can see that I've got a removed app shortcut, which will show me the things that it's taken out. So there you see it, what it's removed uh, as part of the um, reset. If I had other applications installed, they would be on that list. It's just um, that's all I had installed on this test machine at the time. So now I've got a clean machine 
ready to go with Windows 10. My files will still be there in the in the documents folder if I had any, but the applications wow, aren't there that were that I would have had installed before. So that's doing a reset. If I'd done the other option, which was a complete wipe, it would have got rid of the user profile and all the file stores as well. So you go through the whole user profile and set a new user up. So that's how to restore or to reset a Windows 10 machine. Um, gets rid of all your programs, but it does get it back to a good working state if you've installed something that's caused it a problem. You can find out more on the